kissing back and forth Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin Will we fight when we fall, then we rise through it all Till we find what we want, then we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in Just me, just you, the last thing Hey everybody, it's Karen. Welcome back. I am excited today because I went on Sephora and I ordered the Selena Gomez. I was going to get the foundation, um, but I got the concealer and I put in the information from me using this foundation and that I'm a neutral and all that stuff. And then they sent me this. So I'm going to put in here a brief like getting ready with me kind of thing, but just really focusing on the concealer and what I think about it. So let's get into that. Can you guess my thoughts already? Hi guys. So I wanna to talk to you about um, Sephora's is carrying Selena Gomez's line and I've been wanting to try a new foundation. Well, I thought I had the foundation and the concealer in the cart, but anyway, Sephora had this, um, what is it? It like, um, you put in, it was like this, what do you call that? I don't even know. I guess it's not a quiz or anything, but you put in what foundation you're using and then it matches you with, um, Selena's version. So this way you would have the perfect shade match. Okay. So I did that and I put in foundation that I always use. I'm neutral. So I either use the Lancome in a lighter color or a darker color, depending upon, you know, whether I'm, I'm tan or not. So today I'm going in with the Tarte Timeless Pore Filling Primer, which I've been using on and off with the Professional Benefit. And I'm going to do everything the same way that I normally would, but I'm going to use Selena Gomez's concealer and we're going to see how well this shade match thing worked because I'm not a warm tone unless something's changed with my skin I don't know but and these clearly are neutrals they say it right on it so I don't know does it really work their shade matching technique it says neutral on the box or on the bottom oh right here 260 bisque neutral 420 bisque neutral right on the back kind of hard to see because I've had them around for a while but I did spray this with some Evian water stuff so I'm ready for my foundation I've got my primer on and we are going to get going with this let's do this I might have to mix two colors because like I said I'm not I haven't been tanning recently so this might be a little bit dark for me but we're going to apply it with a beauty blender like I always do. And I like to push it into my skin, but also in the direction of where my larger pores are at, making sure that the primer and the foundation is filling them, basically. <clears throat> Looks like I'm going to have to get more foundation soon. I do like this foundation. It is not full coverage like it says, <laughs> but it is very natural looking. So I'm, I'm loving it. Okay. Now I've got, sometimes I put two layers on. We'll see if I need that or not, but I really want to go in with this concealer and see, but I'm going to do my brows first. So let me do that and I will be right back. Okay. I've got some brow done here. Now, here's the shade. 250W Concealer Corrector, made in Italy. Okay, there's the wand. That is way too yellow. That's my opinion. It's definitely for a warm undertone. My skin is not as white as it usually is. So let's see if this is even going to 
yeah, well, let's see here. First off, the coverage seems good. The consistency is creamy, but it's not super thick. But it is definitely not my shade <laughs> at all. So it doesn't work. And I even checked the receipt and all of that. So I can get away with it because my skin's a little bit darker and I can put powder and stuff over it. But overall, like, let's try and see if it cover up this little pimple here. Let's see what happens. A little blemish. The coverage is great. It's just very yellow. And you can totally tell that that's, that's not my shade. Okay. So I'm really wanting to try this in another shade, to be perfectly honest with you. And um, I definitely want to see how well, how well it wears. So I am going to do like the rest of my face and, and keep it on for a couple hours. And then I'll come back and tell you my final thoughts in regards to that. So see you soon. Okay, I want you guys to see this. The Selena Concealer is settled in to lines that I really even don't even have. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a makeup wipe. Very gently. And I'm going to wipe most of it off. And then I'm gonna go back in with the dose of colors. So let me let this dry and then we'll go back in with the dose of colors. I'm like, what the heck? No! Okay, I want to take a little bit of a serum. I'm put that right here. I'm going to let it dry and then we'll apply the right concealer. Okay, we're good. Soaked mostly into the skin. Now I'm going to put some dose of colors, medium tan, number 18. I'm going to take my beauty blender. I'm going to pat it down pressing it into the skin and then I'm immediately going to follow up with a little bit of powder. We will use the hourglass. It's like a really pretty veil, like silky is what I mean. Okay. That is much better. But I wish I wouldn't have played with my eye so much. The eye area is super delicate. Okay, so now we've got that done. Yay! Okay, this concealer is a no-go. <laughs> and Sephora, shame on you for sending me the wrong shade. They sent me the warm instead of a neutral. And um, I did check everything. I did order everything correctly. This I don't, I don't see how you get warm from neutral, so maybe there's something wrong with their foundation shade selector tool thing. I don't know, Sephora, you need to get on the ball here. But this settled into my fine lines after only 30 minutes, so I did wipe it off. And I've, I mean, I never had that. It just, I looked old. <laughs> And I did not like it at all. So I cannot say that I recommend it. I probably will not be trying out that foundation. If you've tried anything from that collection, would you do me a favor and put it in the comments below? And thank you for joining me for this short video. I love you guys. Stay tuned because I've got more coming. Bye.